think of Somalia as this total anarchy? Is it still like that? This is frankly a pretty scary city. We've had to hire eight gunmen to protect us from the warlords, the local militias. I've been visiting Mogadishu for 21 years now, fairly regularly. And it's sad to say that even today we still need so much security. Guards in front, guards behind, an armoured convoy to protect us. It's a sign of quite how fragile things are still. So what have you been given here? Some sugar in below? Sorghum. And how long will that feed your family? We're right on the front line here. Bullets, bullets cracking all around us. And there's a man here quietly praying. We are just maybe a few meters from the front line. Al Shabaab positions ahead of us. The African Union behind. And as you can see, there's a very active front line. Most people I've been speaking to here in the market say they are reasonably confident that Al-Shabaab is not going to come back and they believe that stability just might be here to stay. It's been years since Al-Shabaab, the Islamist militants, withdrew from Mogadishu itself, but they're still almost like a shadow state here. They tax people, they intimidate, they kill, and they carry out spectacular attacks. How many people died here? Uh, 15 people. Uh, six of them, they were working here in Elite Hotel. So they blew up this wall? Yes, exactly. And you fixed it already? Uh, of course. Uh, we, we fixed it with, within a days. No, more than two days. Within so two life days goes on? It. Yes, of course. And it will. Yeah. There's been a lot of improvement here, and I can see it driving through. The, the streets are cleaner, there's a lot more building going on here, new hotels and so on. Um, but right now, it's election time. It was supposed to be one man, one vote. That hasn't happened. And uh, as those elections get closer, the tensions are rising. This is a country which is used to solving things by brinkmanship at the barrel of a gun. And so democracy is still very much in its infancy here. People are not sure if this election will be fair and free, and every clan uh, has its own candidate for, for the uh, top position of the country. So difficult, perhaps dangerous times. Perhaps it's the most dangerous time for Somalia. I have been uh, in Somalia as a reporter, as a journalist, and a human rights defender the past uh, 18 years, and I haven't seen a similar uh, scenario in the past. That's why I'm a bit worried about that. Uh, we've just come to a makeshift camp for displaced families right in the middle of Mogadishu. Among the ruins here, thousands of families who fled the violence in the countryside over years. But in this group are people who've come just within the last few weeks and they're talking about heavy fighting in rural areas outside Mogadishu uh, between Somali government forces and the militants of Al-Shabaab. <laughs> So they come here and they hope that this city will provide them some sort of sanctuary. But the concern is, of course, that with tension growing here, the safety of Mogadishu may prove to be an illusion too. When you look at scenes like this, I think there's every reason 
every temptation to be optimistic and hopeful about Somalia's future. But I'd say this is a country still very much in the making. It was so badly destroyed. The institutions of state were completely obliterated. And it's going to take, I think, many more years, perhaps many more decades, before we're really sure exactly where Somalia is heading and whether it is on a path back towards stability and democracy.